Hi, it's Karen Rogers, and it's time for Mini Motivator number five. Today we're going to talk about keeping a journal or a scrapbook. This video goes hand in hand with the last Mini Motivator, which dealt with goal setting. In the last video, we talked about setting your goals. I gave you 10 categories. You were supposed to write your top one to three goals in each category, and then we put them in order. We rank them, which is number one, which is number two, and so on. And then you were to take the top one and break it down into small steps. For example, if you wanted to take a Caribbean cruise, and that was real important to you, you would write that down and start taking small steps. That could be talking to somebody who's been on a Caribbean cruise, watching a YouTube video about it, looking up prices, looking at the options of where you could go, uh, how much money would it take? What can I do to make that money or save that money? You know, just little things like that that advance you toward whatever it is you want. All right, so here are some reasons for keeping a journal. They go together with your goals. So number one, it helps keep you focused and organized. If we go back to the Caribbean cruise example, you could cut out a picture of the places you want to go, maybe the cruise itself, the one that you want to take. You could put those in your scrapbook. You could write about it, whatever it is for you. But this is, I think, the number one reason for keeping it is it just keeps you focused and it keeps you organized. The second thing is it provides a record. It provides a record of your life, and it's something that you could pass on to your kids, and they could pass on to their kids. Number three, journals are used by all the masters. Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins, people like that. Tony Robbins says, if your life is worth living, it's worth recording, and he strongly encourages people to keep journals. Number four is they kind of work like a vision board, and if you're not familiar with vision boards, that's when you take a bulletin board or something similar and you put pictures of things that you want in your life and a journal is basically the same way if or a scrapbook you just cut out the pictures and put them in a in a book instead of a wall right okay so that's why you'd want to keep it and truthfully in a lot of cases it works I can tell you that once I wanted this job and I put a little picture of it in my or it was an article, it was a newspaper article about it. And I ended up with that job. It was, one time I wanted to do a marathon. I just cut out a picture of a marathon, not really thinking that I could even do it. And then last year that actually happened. That still freaks me out. Um, it could be something as simple as a pair of shoes. Or I like it because I'll put quotes in there. And these quotes, when I see them over and over again, when things get hard, I just remember that quote that says, when you're going through hell, keep going. You know, things like that. It, that's how I use it. Now, how do you use it? That's the last step. Really, that is up to you. I have a friend, and what he does is he gets a really nice journal and a really nice pen at Barnes & Noble. And before he, well, he goes to work, and before he starts his day, he takes 10 minutes to write what's happened in his journal. It helps keep a record of what's going on in his life. I do more of like a scrapbook type of thing where I cut out the pictures, the quotes, the things that I want. I've had this one since um, 2013. I've almost filled it up, but not quite. You know, it's, it, I think it's whatever feels good for you. It's just a good way to keep yourself focused and keep yourself heading for uh, the things that you want. And you'll be surprised, especially when it actually works. I'm Karen Rogers. I wish you luck with your journals. Thank you for watching. I educate, motivate, and entertain, and I'll see you next time.